Hey guys, welcome to the Simplify Your Life podcast. It's Coach Simona and I'm glad you decided to tune in. What's up guys? In today's episode, we're going to talk about blame. And I will give you three tips on how to deal with accusations. I know we've all been there. Someone does something wrong and somehow we end up taking the blame for it. Owning up to your mistakes is a powerful way to live your life. Yet many people refuse to do so, because it would mean admitting that they were wrong. So when you get blamed for something that you didn't really do, here's how to handle the situation gracefully. My first tip is to distance yourself from the situation. When a person is in a fight or flight mode, their filter for not insulting or emotionally hurting others is just as missing as their common sense. One way to defend yourself is by offending somebody else. In this case, if you're the one who's being offended, try to understand where the other person is coming from. It's important to distance yourself from the situation, or else you will get drawn into the emotional intensity of it. Instead of thinking of ways to defend yourself or what to say back to hurt the other person, take a look at them and truly see what motivates their behavior. Then tell them that you really need to have a break and you will talk to them when you're both calmer. My second tip is to get in touch with your feelings. If somebody accuses you of something, chances are you're going to feel anger, shame or sadness. Some of my clients who are more sensitive to their body sensations have told me that their chest gets tighter and their hands and feet get colder when they get blamed for something that they didn't do. Bottling up such feelings may have serious health side effects. If they can cause sensations like this in seconds, just imagine what they can do to your body if you keep them there for hours or days. Happily, there is a quick way to feel that negative sensation in your body and move on with your life with more compassion towards yourself and others. Sit down for 10 minutes and take a couple of long, deep breaths. If your mind is racing, Try zooming out and watching it from a distance. What thoughts are you having? Is there a story about the person blaming you? Or is it more focused on your own feelings? Are you feeling negative sensations in your body? Where? Feel them, breathe through them, and let them go. If you feel like crying, cry. Trust your inner wisdom and don't hold any emotions back. Once you let go of the tension in your body, open your eyes and ground yourself back in reality. Take a mindful look at your surroundings. Watch everything without judgment and try to forgive yourself and the other person. Then you can go back to your talk. I've made an audio guided meditation to help you out even further. I will leave a link in the description box and you can listen to it anytime you're having difficulty getting in touch with your feelings. And tip number three, spot the pattern. Does this often happen to you? Do you have to deal with groundless blame and accusations from others on a daily basis? This may be a sign that you have weak boundaries. If you abandon yourself irregularly and you don't stand your ground, people, especially the more assertive types, will get the feeling that they can walk all over you. And they will test your limits to confirm that that's the case. If you don't want that to be the case, you need to trust yourself more. A good way to start is to develop self-compassion. Here's how. Next time you say something wrong, you feel weak, or you stamp any other negative label on yourself, take a look at what you're saying and realize that it's your own mind talking to itself. You've probably suffered from trauma in the past, but it doesn't have to define who you are or who you want to become in the future. You are the only one who can define who you are. Self-compassion is the first step, but it's definitely easier said than done. So if you need my help, you know where to find me. So to recap, my first tip on how to deal with blame and accusations is to distance yourself from the situation. My second tip is to get in touch with your feelings. And last but not least, Spot the pattern and be aware of it. 
All right, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on my weekly episodes on how to simplify your life and have great relationships with others. I love you guys and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.